Recording started. Hi, my name is Mark and I've just cycled from Ballam to Bootle to raise money for Kingsley & Co, the most amazing children's bookshop in the world. Hi, so I'm Claire Morgans and I'm the CEO of Y Kids, which is a children's charity based in Bootle and it's our 20th birthday this year, so been in Bootle 20 years. We work with children, young people, families and the wider community and we're here about making change and helping young people particularly to feel that they can achieve and that uh, they can reach their life's ambitions and dreams. Um, so anything that benefits our community is what we're about. Hi, my name's Jake. I'm the story keeper from a wonderful bookshop called Kingsley Co. Over that way, but we're closed at the moment. We're in regeneration as part of the Strand Regenerates. We too are moving. We are a children's bookshop explorers and emporium. We do literacy outreach. So I personally go into schools, sometimes dressed as a Viking, sometimes uh, doing shadow puppetry. Uh, and inside the shop, we have a fantastic shop manager Liz and Alicia who will help you pick out a book. We also have food and drinks and coffee and the whole point of Kingsley & Co, the bookshop and cafe, it's about putting books in kids' hands, doing literacy experience and that's why I'm dressed up as a medieval, not a medieval, a steampunk explorer. Sometimes I'm dressed up medieval-like but right now a steampunk uh, a character explorer, time traveller with all sorts of things in my pockets and the reason why is this is all about having fun and doing fun things. For example, I really hope this comes across well on the microphone. And I dropped everything. There we go. And that's what I do. Thank you very much. So we are at Kingsley and Call waiting for Mark Robinson to arrive after his charity fundraising bike ride from Balham to Bootle. And we can see preparations are taking place now. We see Claire over in the corner. Mark Robinson, co-founder of Elandi and chair of the High Street Task Force, is taking on the incredible challenge of cycling solo over 239 miles from Backstory Books in Balham. So that's the other bookstore in connection to this. Backstory Books in Balham to Kingsley and Co in Bootle, which is where we are now. He aims to raise vital funds for the refurbishment and reopening of this magical children's bookshop, promoting literacy and raising aspirations for children and young people in Bootle. So, this is the journey, this is the man. Well done. He should be arriving around about 2 o'clock today. It's June the 10th. So, from Balham all the way up to Bootle. And the shop is currently undergoing refurbishments. All children's bookshop and, ex and explorers emporium, which is why we see Jake, Jake the story keeper. I'm just gonna step inside at the moment and just have a little look at, the, at some of the renovations that are ongoing, hello. Obviously just waiting now for the arrival of Mark, but before when I came in these were all doing lots of work. Correct.
then we've got some information, some leaflets, white kids. Hi, I'm Stuart Barnes, I'm Assistant Director of Economic Growth and Housing and Sector Council uh, and I'm here today to see uh, Mark come from Ballam to Bootle and to just to celebrate the, uh, the huge efforts that he's put in uh, to raise money for charity uh, in terms of uh, white kids and uh, to be able to put something back into the overall project. I'm, I'm uh, the lead officer for the Strand Repurposing and Redevelopment. My services include planning, tourism and events, regeneration, housing, business support and investment, employment and skills. So across all of those areas we've got occupation of parts of the Strand, we've got responsibility for parts of the Strand and the regeneration project. Um, and we are involved in so many different ways of everything that's going on in Bootle, but in the Strand Project in particular. So uh, it seems almost fitting to be here. I just wish I, I was fit enough to be able to ride at least part of the way with Mark on his journey, but no chance. Anyway, thank you for the thank you for the lovely reception. It was uh, very special because uh, I was feeling quite tired by the time I got here. Thank you. Well, thank you for all the work you do. I mean, you do. The reason I did this is because you guys do amazing work here. Thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you find it now, all night. Oh. <laughs> so how is it cycling from Baltimore to Bootle? It, it, it's been harder than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. I didn't really think about it too much. Um, but I came up and saw saw Claire about a month ago and uh, wanted to try and get um, Kingsley open as quickly as possible uh, by raising some money. So um, I just came up with this crazy idea and just thought, well, what can I do just by myself? And uh, this was my plan. I've been cycling for about 18 months. So I'm not an expert cyclist, but I've done enough to know that I could just do it. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's, sometimes you just got to get on with it and help the way you can. I, you know, could have organised something bigger with other people, but um, that would have taken forever and they needed the money really quickly. Do you want to tell us about the connection to the other bookstore down in Balham? And is it similar to this one? Yeah, um, that, that's been one of the brilliant things has been connecting uh, Backstory Books in Balham with, with Kingsley because that was a, it's a community bookshop um, that was crowdfunded by people who really felt it important to have a bookshop in the middle of their community. Um, it's, it's not quite as magical a place as this, but it does serve wine, which helps. Well, you know, there's going to be a ton of kids um, with a long, boring summer holiday, so uh, having a fantastic place that I know this is going to be open for them, I think is really important. Cool. Nice one. Perfect. Thanks for your help, mate. Yeah, let me get a photograph of it. Yeah, this one's quite lit up. Yeah, this one's quite lit up. One of these is quite lit up. Yeah, that one's, that one's lighter. Because this is a lovely little room, this as well. It'll just, I open. 
Do you think getting your photograph here as well, Carl? Yeah. I haven't got my frame and goods at all there. I'm going to crop this. He's all well. He's just fucking his job with me anyway. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of the face-to-face -face contact that we've had, particularly in relation to the events that we've been putting on, have been wholly positive. Um, been very much about do it again, do it bigger, do more, um, and I, that's what we're trying to do. And the Salt and Tower and the events is about trying to bring people into the centre, but also to put something on for people who live in and around Bootle to make it a real community asset. Um, and that drives footfall, which helps businesses, which helps the Strand look busier. Um, which uh, you know, hopefully will encourage more and more investments, not just from the council or through government funding, um, but also the private sector as well. And then we've got some incredibly strong uh, community groups and uh, charities and community interest companies that are based in and around Bootle and within the Strand. So uh, I'm hopeful that uh, what we're doing supports what they're doing as well. You've already seen that there's been a number that have relocated around the Strand as we've uh, had to create a cleared area so that we can uh, start the demolition soon. Um, so it's been a real challenge and you know, in all of that you always get some negativity because it's difficult sometimes trying to deliver change but I think we've got a real ambition for the centre um, and we know what our end goal is so hopefully we'll carry on and keep on delivering um, and keep on securing more funding and more excitement from the community. I think my favourite part is the fact that we've managed to uh, create a, a better access to the canal corridor. Um, you, uh, where Salt and Tower is, it wasn't accessible, but there's a 150 metres or so uh, frontage to the canal there that hopefully as part of the regeneration plans we'll open that up um, so that it's a, a big part of a you know, community access, access to water, access to um, pedestrian and cycle routes uh, through Bootle uh, into the city centre and then out eastwards. So I think currently that's my favourite bit. Recording stopped.